Yahoo family, it's the general. And this time we're going deeper than we ever been. Satanic Seed, part one. See, our story starts with these guys, who nobody ever seems to remember, talk about, or even know their name. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him, male and female created he, them. Which would technically be the first creation. But for some reason, all we ever seem to talk about is these guys, this snake, and this tree. At this point, we're all pretty familiar with the story. The serpent tempts Eve with the forbidden fruit. She likes it so much, she gives it to her husband. And for those of us still struggling with the forbidden fruit thing, if it's anything like the forbidden dance. Now, before you go thinking I'm perverting the scriptures, and the eyes of both of them were open and they knew that they were naked, just from eating apples. So they sewed together fig leaves and made coverings. Now, the part that I was a little disappointed in is when God walks in and asks Adam what happened. He doesn't even hesitate before he sells his woman out. And then God turns to Eve and says, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Now, since the Bible was predominantly given to slaves who weren't even allowed to read, I took the liberty of looking up the word beguiled on my own. Charm, attract, woo, seduce, entice, sweet talk? Oh, trust me, there's more. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Pretty harsh. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. What seeds are we talking about? So, once again, I took it upon myself to see what the hell enmity means. Hostility, animosity, deep-seated dislike. Well, you know what happens next. Cain kills his brother Abel, and that's when everything gets really weird. Well, since the whole hatred between thee and thy seed thing had me a little confused, I took the liberty of looking up Adam's genealogy on my own. To my surprise, almost an entire page of all these different names and not one time did they mention Cain. That's well, probably nothing. Anyway, let's get back to the brothers. Since the hostility, animosity, and deep-seated dislike caused Cain to kill his brother, ultimately he was banished to the land of Nod. Now, since I had no clue where the land of Nod was, I decided to look it up. The land of Nod mentioned in the book of Genesis is the land that still flows through parts of modern-day Turkey. Now, if you've seen my Noah's first one, you kind of know where this is headed. Traditions hold that the first Gentile church was founded in Antioch. What's Antioch have to do with anything? You probably wonder, huh? Antioch, location, Turkey. All right, family, let's see if we can make some sense out of this. If Cain wasn't Adam's son, then it only leaves one other option. Therefore, fulfilling God's prophecy of putting hatred between Eve and the serpent seed. Once that bloodline was banished from the Garden of Eden, it was sent to the land of Nod, which coincidentally is right next door to the Turkish mountains, which coincidentally is the birthplace of Christianity. Now, I know we're all taught that the church place should be an institution of God and righteousness, but the evidence just points to something completely different, family. 